In this video, we're going to do a review of adjectives. Let's start off with the basics. Can you remember these three items? All adjectives must agree with their nouns in gender, case, and number. Okay. In addition, we're going to be looking at two different types of adjectives. One group of adjectives belongs to the first and second declension. The vast majority of them look like this. Altus, a, um. Or if you want to spell it all the way out, altus, alta, altum. The us form is for the masculine. The a ah is for the feminine, and the um is for the neuter. So, if you are declining an adjective to agree with a masculine noun, you're going to use this us form and follow along in the second declension masculine pattern. If it's going to agree with a feminine noun, you're going to use this alta form and use the first declension pattern. And if you're going to agree with a neuter noun, you're going to use the altum form and use the second declension neuter pattern. Other adjectives look like this. Paul care, Ra, room, or if you want to spell it out, Paul care, Paul cra, Paul crum. Again, we're going to go in the masculine, feminine, and neuter pattern. And again, we're going to use the second declension masculine pattern if we're going to agree with a masculine noun, the first declension pattern if we're going to agree with a feminine noun, and the second declension neuter pattern if we're going to agree with a neuter noun. There are three different families of third declension adjectives. The first group is called the three termination. That means there's a different termination for each gender. One example is Keller, Kelleris, Kellere. This, like the last one, moves in the masculine, feminine, and neuter pattern. There are two termination adjectives, such as nobilis, nobile often abbreviated as nobilis a, and this is masculine and feminine are grouped into one category and neuter for the other. So nobilis is the adjective for masculine and feminine nouns, and nobile is the adjective for neuter nouns. There's also one termination adjectives such as audax. These one termination adjectives are used for all three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Sometimes you might see one termination adjectives written like this, audax, audacus. What your dictionary or the back of your book is doing is giving you the nominative form of the adjective followed by the genitive singular form since there is a stem change that occurs. In order to work with adjectives more, we need to consider the base of the adjective. The base of the adjective is the part of the adjective upon which you add the endings. To find the base of the adjective, you remove the ending from the genitive singular form. It will often be helpful to look to the feminine form to help you get there. Okay, this is our basic review of adjectives.